back to another video. I am Rio and as you can see from the thumbnail and title, today I have some vintage jersey pickups. So all of these jerseys were picked up uh, in the past several months. Some of them were like last summer, some of them were more fallish, kind of early winter. Um, pretty much during my, I, I don't know, hiatus I guess. And since we're coming into that weather where um, jerseys will be more acceptable to be worn so you won't freeze your, your ass off. I figured I'd kind of just go over them and show you what I got. Now before I get into the jerseys, you'll probably notice that this um, this camera setup is much different than I usually have if, you're, if you've been watching my videos for a while. And that's because I've heard the, the complaints about the audio um, in the past, I don't know how many videos. For me, it's something that I've never, I've never heard it, like I've said in the past, many, 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 many videos ago. People near me that's watched my videos, they don't hear it. So I'm not sure what the exact issue is. I've been told it's like some high frequency dog whistle. I decided to contact Rode, so that's the, the brand who makes the mic I have. And I'm in the process of sending it to them to get it um, repaired. In the meantime, I'm gonna be using um, maybe, I don't know if I'm gonna always use this. This is my vlogging camera and sometimes this won't cut it for quality. So if I need to maybe rent a mic, I may have to, uh, but you know, I'll see what happens. I don't know how long they're gonna take to repair, but that's neither here nor there. So just figured I'll just put that out there. But anyway, for the jerseys, as you can see, first up, I have this Detroit Pistons Grant Hill jersey. All these jerseys are pretty much vintage um, for the most part. The majority of them are champion. I don't have any Mitchell Ness jerseys. Um, in this one, I don't have any Nike. I do own some Nike jerseys. I don't have any Nike here. Detroit Pistons, this is more like the, the 90s, I wanna say like mid 90s jersey uh, style. I was a little, little, little boy when Grant Hill was playing, so. I don't remember watching him that often, but what I do recall is when I was little, I had a pair of Grant Hills. Uh, one of the first autobiographies I read was Grant Hills. I just felt like I was a fan of Grant Hill. When it comes to like the, the early to mid 2000s when I was pretty much really, really big in the basketball playing and everything, Grant was like at the end of his career. So a lot of people know him for that, not balling like he was in the 90s, but dude was a monster. Grant Hill was just ferocious. One of the reasons why I picked this one up, besides it being Grant Hill, of course, is just the colors of it. I love that graphic with that on that Pistons logo, the 33. The champions, I, you just can't really beat the champions. They're not the best quality of jerseys out there. As you know, the majority of the champion jerseys are screen printed, uh, but I thought this was a very dope find. Again, all of these are eBay pickups, um, and that's usually where you will most likely find uh, some of the the, uh, the rare vintage uh, pieces. Champion tag on here, and by the way, I wear a 44, uh, which equates to like a large. Uh, in jerseys. But anyway, that's the first one, Grant Hill. It's pretty dope. All right, so the second jersey I have here, as you can see, is gonna be an Indiana Pacers jersey. Uh, and this one is Reggie Miller, number 31. Let me just say this right now. I was not a fan of Reggie Miller. The dude is, was a sharpshooter, can knock him down with the best of them, legendary. But, you know, I was pro Jordan, so I went with the Bulls. And as you know, Jordan and Reggie, they, they had their back and forth. So, you know, it was Jordan all day. Growing up, I've learned to have respect for the sharpness that he had. A very fundamental form. I, I gotta give it to him, dude was nice. Very skinny, fragile, seemed soft. I will never forget wearing these colors. That infamous choke sign to Spike Lee because he had scored like eight points in nine seconds and he, he turned to Spike Lee and signal choke. That's savage, that is just savage. But anyway, back to the jerseys. As you can see in this all navy, yellow trimming, Indiana Pacers 31, again, champion size 44 you know the miller at the back and some of these some of these pickups for these jerseys really was like more of like a a, a color thing i just certain colors that you just you you want to have as a jersey the player of course does play a part in that but the 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 color and the team of the jerseys does matter too again i was never a fan but at the end of the day you gotta respect it all right, so this one here is gonna be my, as far as these, these jersey pickups go, this is gonna be my non-champion jersey pickup. This is a Jordan brand jersey. Some of you may know what this is, some of you may not. This is a college jersey for Carmelo Anthony. Carmelo Anthony is one of my favorite players, ever. I know, I know he gets a lot of flack in the media, he gets a bad rap, right now he's not playing, he needs to retire, all of that. Guess what? 
I don't care. When Melo played his one year at Syracuse and won a national title, and then LeBron was coming out of high school, you know, those were the two main guys, and everybody was pro LeBron. I mean, for obvious good reasons, because he's had a monster career. He just passed Jordan on the all-time scoring list. We're not gonna even get into that. I'm Jordan all day, but I don't wanna start that debate here. Everybody was all LeBron, and I was like looking at this young bull in Syracuse, like, yo, this dude, this dude's nice. So since then, I was a, I was a Melo fan. Um, after my second favorite player of all time was at the end of his career, you know, I had to, I had to be a fan of somebody. So Melo was that guy. Followed him through Denver, rocked with him with the Knicks. Was a diehard Knicks fan for all the years that he was there. Even though they was trash, I didn't care because I rock with Melo. When you think about the jersey choices that were there, Syracuse, I mean, the colors are kind of cool, but I really didn't want that. Denver, I had a Denver Melo jersey in the past. Nah, I don't want that either. Um, Knicks, uh, I can't do it to myself. I, I can't. I, I'm gonna be real. I can't do it to myself. That's like a walking embarrassment. But Melo's my guy. So then my other options were the Hawks. We know how that played out, so I'm not gonna go there. Then I got OKC and no, the the Rockets. Y'all, y'all get my point. It, the options weren't really that. They they were limited. So I thought back, like I gotta have Melo jersey in my collection. Let's go back a little bit. So that's where I got this idea to check out the high school jersey. So we got the Oak Hill Academy 22. The colors, I love the colors. That yellow, the red, and the black trimming, I thought it was dope. And at the back, we got the Anthony 22. I understand that Melo didn't have the career that he was expected to have, but in all fairness, dude is a future Hall of Famer. He is a he will be a legend if he's not already. A complete scoring assassin. He could he could pretty much do everything on the court. He wasn't the best passer. He wasn't the best defensive player. We get that, but there's a lot of players throughout the years who weren't really good at those things, and they got praise. It is that for him, he got a lot of criticism for not being good at it. But again, it's not that kind of video, so we're not gonna go into it. But anyway, that's the Oak Hill Mellow jersey. All right, so I have two more jerseys gonna finish this whole thing up. The first one you see here is hanging up. Sixers, number three, you know who that is, the main man, Allen Iverson. I'm gonna tell you right now, Young Rio thought he was Iverson. I had the braids and the cornrows. I had the headband. I had the sleeves. I had the sh I had all of his shoes, the Reebok kicks. I thought I was Iverson. I was trying to do the crossovers, although my handles were kind of whack, but the jumper was nice. When Iverson hit Jordan with that crossover and those questions and drained that jumper, I was like, my second favorite player just crossed with my favorite player. This dude's nice. So of course I had to get an Iverson jersey in the collection. I've had Iverson jerseys in the past, grown out of those, I mean, I was little. This this was a must cop for me. I paid a little more than I would like to have paid, but yo, it's Iverson. And these jerseys are kind of hard to come by. The red Sixers, uh, 99-ish. That's like the, the range of this one, maybe like 98, uh, somewhere around there. Champion, 44. Logos up there, the back, Iverson number three. I want to get one of those, the black, like more like what, 2001, two, uh, the black Mitchell and Esto. I want to get the Mitchell and S jersey. So I'm going to hunt for that one. And based on my research, those are like kind of around like 200. Iverson is the, is the number two. It goes Jordan, Iverson, then Mello. That's just my favorite. They're, they're not, they're not the, the best all time. Of course, Jordan is. I'm not saying these other two are the best of all time. But as far as what I liked and what I grew up admiring, these were the guys. All right, and to top it all off for the jersey pickups, as you can see, I have this Olympics jersey, number nine, I don't know if you can see that, number nine, turn, uh, turn, right there. Number nine, so as you guys may know, that number, of course, belong to this man right here. Of course, it's no secret, this is my goal. This is the greatest of all time. I have a couple of the Jordan jerseys, both champion, but I wanted to have this USA jersey. I just, it, I, it was a need. And again, I paid a decent amount for this because they're hard to find. I want to say this was maybe like a 96 Dream Team. No, Dream Team was 92. It doesn't really matter. The USA joke jersey. I got the 44 on there, it's my size. We all, we all have grown to love what Jordan does. Uh, from the sneakers and everything. I know I'm a big fan of Jordans. It's mainly most of what I wear. Particular jersey goes crazy with the Olympic sixes, um, which I do have in my collection as well. I mean, that's really about it. There's not much to really go into about this particular jersey. So anyway, that, I'm gonna end the video here. Let me know what you guys thought about these jersey pickups that I've had over these past few months. I do plan on maybe throwing these jerseys 
um, on in a lookbook maybe sometime during the summer. We'll see how that plays out. Other than that, comment down below which one was your favorite. What kind of jerseys do you have in your collection? If you have jerseys, what type of jerseys do you like? Uh, not just basketball, football, any sport, favorite players. Just comment down below, let me know what you think. If you like the video, make sure you hit the like button. That's the only way I know if you guys are digging these videos when I do them, is if you hit the thumbs up. Um, the more thumbs up, the more I know you appreciate it, the more I wanna give you guys similar content. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Peace.